Well, shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members out there, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And this is a short video. You know how I like the Lee Ram Prime, right? So much that I bought three of these. Because I got, I got two reloading benches on these portable Husky rolling carts. And then I got another little desk up there in front where my computer is. And I intend to put a, a mount for a press up there too. So I have different areas to do videos for you, right? Well, this Lee Ram Prime has been a great thing. But let me show you what happened. I got a little frustration with one of these. Don't know if this ever happened to you, but you see, this seems to be working fine, right? Because when you try and put a shell holder in here, what happened was you depress the little, and it wouldn't go in. It would stop right about there, and no matter how much I pushed, couldn't get it in there. In fact, I caused some scratching damage trying to get a shell holder in there. And looking in there, I couldn't really see anything in the way. I was feeling around in here for any kind of burrs and everything. Like maybe there was some kind of manufacturing defect. Well, couldn't find any. And no matter how hard I pushed, I couldn't get a shell holder in there. I was thinking I was going to have to send this back to Lee for some kind of relief on that. But then it occurred to me that if I can scratch that, then this aluminum is fairly soft. So, I said I got nothing to lose with this. So, what I did was I got a shell holder. The reasoning is that this aluminum is soft. We got a steel shell holder. So, I've got the, the little bushing in there depressed. So I got my trusty rubber mallet and gave it some wax and lo and behold, got it in. And then I was thinking, well, suppose I can't get it out. Well, tap it out with the rubber, rubber mallet. Just did that a few times to really get that interference pinned out of the way. And now I'm fully in business. You see, we can go ahead and put in a shell holder any way we want, and we are in business. Simple manufacturing burr and defect in there taken care of, and this is problem solving. Now, I wouldn't use the rubber mallet to solve other problems, like with a reloading press, might not be the good idea. But with this particular problem solving, took care of it nice. This problem wasn't worth the sending back to Lee and the cost required to do that. Fix it ourselves. As long as we know what kind of materials we're working with, we can fix it ourselves. Take care, shooters and reloaders out there. Fortune Cookie 45 LC. We'll see you in the next video.